one thing I'm noticing as well is that our uh, oh, we need some rules going on the left and the right of this middle column. So I'm going to jump back into the index dot. No, what am I mixing? I'm going to go to index.jade where our columns are living. And I'm going to identify this one as call secondary. All right. And then I'm going to go over to that styles uh, SAS document that I created before. And I'll say uh, call dash secondary border one pixel solid and uh, the color e, e, e and then also I want uh, border top none and border bottom none Okay, now what happened here, you see that the, the, the width, this is good, this is what I wanted. The other one was too tight because it was inside of the actual col um, it was inside of the actual grid, and I wanted to use the grid to make the, make the rules, not be in, squished inside of it. So now I have padding inside of it and uh, on the outside. This is good, this is what I wanted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it's only gonna be as long as the content of this column, which I think I'm okay with. Let's go back to that secondary column and see what's next for us. Oh, another thing is this article is going to get um, a gray background. So I'm going to go back into my SAS and say uh, column secondary uh, BG dash gray and um, background is going to be like F5, F5, F5. And let's change these borders to um, CCC. Maybe a little stronger in the background. Okay. But this background gray also, because now I'm putting a background in it, it needs to pad itself out too. So padding um, 10 pixels. Is that true? Are you true? That'll do it, but we don't want padding on the top 10 pixels. It's just too much padding on the top. So it's going to be 0, 10, 10. Yeah, like that. Yep, good. Like a glove.